Hello guys, I am Yasser Ali. To continue our discussion about source of subsurface pressure, here in this tutorial we will discuss overburden pressure as a source of subsurface pressure or formation pressure. So let's start our discussion about overburden pressure. As I mentioned earlier that in our previous tutorial while discussing the sources of subsurface pressure we have seen and we have discussed that the formation pressure also known as subsurface pressure or pore pressure is due to either one or both of the two mentioned causes the first one is hydrostatic pressure and the second one is overburden pressure in our previous tutorial we have seen that how the hydrostatic pressure act as a source of pore pressure or formation pressure now here we will see the second cause that is overburden pressure so let's start our discussion of overburden pressure talking about the definition of overburden pressure it can be defined as the pressure exerted by the total weight of overlying for overlying formations above the point of interest the total weight is combined weight of both the formation fluids rock matrix and the formation fluids in the pore space what does it mean let's try to understand with the help of these diagrams in our previous tutorial when we were discussing that hydrostatic pressure is the source or the cause of the subsurface pressure we saw that we discussed that when during the depositional environment these sand particles or sediments deposit and then they get compact even then after their compaction this water have a contact till the surface and then this connection of water act as a column of water which result in the formation of hydrostatic pressure which creates the pressure inside the reservoir now opposite to this hydrostatic pressure in overburden pressure what does it mean in overburden pressure the force or the weight due to the overlying rocks for example here we have the reservoir for example here is the reservoir okay so if the pressure is due to the fluid fluid connection then it is hydrostatic pressure but if the pressure is due to overlying rocks and fluid means the combined due to the rock matrix and due to the fluid both then we call it overburden pressure further uh, just consider this diagram see here we have the rock that is these particles which actually make the rock these sand particles here we can see that the weight of this sand particle is held by this okay then this sand particle weight is held by this particle so ultimately this weight of the rock is held by this these sand particles okay so all the weight is held by the sand particles what does it mean it means that this this weight this weight of the solids is not acting on the fluids but just imagine that if this rock is not consolidated it is soft rock then once it get compact the this weight of the solids even is held by this fluid in that case the overburden pressure that is the weight of the rock is also held by the fluid inside it in that case what will happen the pressure will increase from the hydrostatic pressure for example if at a place the hydrostatic pressure the pressure in the reservoir due to hydrostatic is 4300 psi then due to overburden it will be more than 4300 psi so the pressure due to overlying rocks and fluid the both it is called overburden pressure now let's see the formula that how to calculate the overburden pressure we know that the formula for hydrostatic pressure is 0.052 into density into height similarly overburden pressure have the same formula but only this density parameter will change in this case we take the density of the fluid in this case we will take the density of the density of the rock and fluid in it we call it bulk density okay so bulk density is actually the rock material which is overlain for example here is the reservoir so above this reservoir we have these four layers 
वन टू थ्री एंड फोर लेयर्स ओके सो इन साइड दिस दिस रॉक मैट्रिक्स देर इज अ फ्लूड सो टोटल वेट टोटल डेंसिटी ऑफ दिस रॉक दैट इज सॉलिड मटीरियल प्लस द फ्लूड इन साइड इट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड बल्क दैट ओके सो द डेंसिटी ऑफ दिस मटीरियल I am again saying the density of rock that is solid part and the fluid in it, the combined density, the combined density of both of these items is called bulk density. So if we want to calculate the overburden pressure, what we will do? We have to take the density of each rock and then we have to multiply with zero point zero five two and we'll multiply the height. Okay, how much height of the rocks is, and then we'll multiply them all together and then we'll get overburden pressure. so now we have to link this overburden pressure and hydrostatic pressure to understand as a source of subsurface pressure we have seen that what is subsurface pressure the pressure of the oil and gas underground that is called subsurface pressure or pore pressure so one source we discussed yesterday is that due to this fluid column and the second thing we have discussed is that due to the weight of the rocks okay but the thing is i explained that if the rock is consolidated the rock is hard then this rock weight will not act on the fluid but if it is soft rock then what will happen rock will get compact and the weight of the rock that is solid material will also act on the fluid so if the pressure is due to both that is fluid hydrostatic plus rock material solid material solid material then we'll call that this pressure is due to overburden pressure and if it is only due to uh, fluid we call it uh, it is due to hydrostatic pressure so i hope that you got understanding that uh, how the subsurface pressure or the pore pressure or the reservoir pressure is generated inside the reservoir it is generated due to two reasons hydrostatic of the fluid and the overburden pressure later in our upcoming tutorials we will see that how to differentiate uh, that uh, the reservoir pressure is due to only hydrostatic or it is due to overburden pressure we will see in our upcoming tutorials so this was our discussion about uh, sources of subsurface pressure i hope you got understanding regarding what we have discussed thank you very much